Official title, um, Supporter Liaison. Um, I also look after the kiosks on a match day and during the week. I look after a team of cleaners and I uh, look after the family stand. <laughs> okay yeah. awesome can you make sure all your confet goes away all the crisps i've lost obviously your shelf yeah. so if you can figure out anything to do or where to put them bonus sauce station needs to go out your sauce lid's there yeah all good awesome. in the kiosk it's all the food all the wastage um all the stock the cleanliness the environmental health requirements and the staffing the running of the kiosk is generally done monday to friday um, and then on a match day, it all, it all comes together. So we're going down into the bar to make sure all the supporters are coming in and everything's okay, there's no issues, obviously, and make sure the food hut's okay. Going this way. You put your temperatures down. Got your temperatures down? Cool. Up. Temperatures are really important, so every pie that comes out of the oven has to be above 75 degrees and then we check them as soon as they come out of the oven and then we check them just before half time to make sure they're all hot enough to eat. In the kiosk we've tried to provide a variety of products that suit everyone's different tastes and diets. We have um, fully trained our staff, which is difficult because we do have a, a role in recruitment, but due to the nature of the job it is a casual position. So we do have a role in recruitment, we try to train them as, as hard as possible and get them to do the same quality throughout the kiosks. What do you think of Sandy Pate Bites? Awesome, isn't it? The atmosphere is absolutely massive in here on a match day. Uh, everybody's having a drink, everybody's a good time. Great to meet your friends and other Stag supporters. You grab some great food, great beer, awesome supporters. Great entertainment. Our supporters provide the entertainment, don't they? <laughs> We've got a really, really lovely atmosphere now, so we're getting children and adults that are joining together and meeting up here now, so it's, it's stopped being just a game, it's more of a day out. So the children and the families are coming in, they're meeting up with the guys and they're meeting up with the girls and then going out there and watching a game and then coming back in here at the end of the game, they're probably going out for dinner as well, so we've doubled the amount of families and we've doubled that family feel. 6.30, the kids come in with the families, so we arrange what they're doing for the day. Um, show them around, particularly new families who've never been here before, so we show them around, um, get them started with their activities, um, and then from on an evening game around seven o'clock, start sort of circulating the stand whilst doing all of my jobs at once. So, greeting families, um, checking on the kiosk, checking supporters are okay, dealing with any issues from anything from non mushy peas right through to stewarding or ticket issues, uh, merchandise issues. Uh, anything like that. Yeah, awesome. Hang on, let me just do this. Somebody wants to know if we've got any car parking. kind of action with the flags? Half time, yes. Um, so I've already got Nathan on the pitch anyway, doing blind football. And then... No, not half time, actually as the match is happening, who's going to be holding it all the time? So what do you want? Are they gonna? Do you want them to hold it all score, the time? No, if we score, we want them ready. To yeah, of course. Yeah. Here. So I've said to him, stay. Obviously, put them down because I don't want the big stick in the way of people's yeah, no, faces. Great. So I said, put them down, and we're going to go and have a dry run in a minute and find out where's best position because obviously with the scaffolding towers, I don't know where's best, yeah, and obviously trailing that. cables. Go up a bit. Up a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well done. That's it. Perfect. Well done. That's it. Cross, cross, cross over. That's it. Keep going. Well lift it, Katie, thing. lift it. That's it. Perfect, lovely. Do you think you can manage Excellent. That, then? Yeah. Just take it really steady. Yeah, don't. You can have your heads yeah. on. Yeah. So. Just don't do anything acrobatic yet until you've figured out how you're doing it. The feedback we've had, everybody's really, really impressed with the size of the room and how they've created it out of nothing and out of nowhere. Um, everybody loves the activities and they love the fact that there's no technology in here, so we all have to join together and be as families as opposed to joining off and doing these single activities. I think a lot of it is the, the massive improvement we've seen from the family stand in general, so from being that small area back over in Ian Greaves behind the A block, and being that sort of group of six or seven children with the families to be in sort of two blocks up to 70 or 80 families at a time now coming in and seeing now what we do. Hello. 
Look at you. Does somebody know we're on camera, Summer? <laughs> That's right. That's right, oh, Daniel. Who's, who's made me medal? <laughs> Have you made that for me? <laughs> Winner, you need to put winner of the family stand because we're the best. You've spearheaded this, you do spearhead this. What does this award mean to you personally? Absolutely now? everything. I'm going to cry. <laughs> put that in ever. Oh my God, what a wuss. Why are you so emotional about it? <laughs> because it was massive. Because this is everything I ever wanted. Really? Yeah. What it was. Uh, it's everything we've worked for for two seasons now. We started uh, two seasons ago where we got the most improved, and that was just from being our little colouring competition at the back of the stadium. And obviously, they gave us the go ahead for this, and yeah, it's absolutely everything. I come in in the week and obviously stock and make sure everyone's got all the comfort and beer and things like that. I also do the beer orders when they come through, do the pie orders and take them all around to the different kiosks and make sure that we've got them ready for the game. Also I do all the stock rotation to make sure obviously nothing goes out of date. I do cleaning because obviously I've got really bad OCD so I'll clean over everything everyone else has done. And also just make sure everything's prepared so that we, if anything does happen on match day then nothing can go wrong. She's absolutely amazing, honestly. She tells me what I need to do and she just leaves me to it. She's not like dictating all the time what I'm, how to do it. She's like, Lauren, fine, whichever way is easiest for you. Are we in B lower, do we know? Let's have a so. look. My dad looked and he said B, G, yep. and P, so he don't know. B lower, yep, right, let me give you those back. This away. Come on then. Oh, look at oh, look that. At <laughs> I think it might have been for them, really, but hey, -ho, we'll, we'll, we'll take it, we'll take it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good evening. Nathan, where's your tickets, dear? I need to do a bit of scanning. Ooh, Thank yeah. you, my love. Oh, <laughs> right, where's C? Is it this one? Right, that's C. Yeah. So it must be that end, typically. Yeah. Hello, you're here. Yeah. Yes, babe. Oh, why? Do I really want to look in my office? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what does that say? To Danielle Hurt, I think you should. What did it say? I think you should have a day off. Oh! <laughs> I think I should have a day off too, Summer. I'm going to go out now um, and do sort of a, a tour around the stadium. So up, upper, lower tier, quarry lane, north stand, just to make sure that everybody's got what they need, everybody's happy, kiosks are all good, and then they can all enjoy the match. Oh, look at the one. I am the first port of call for the supporters. So any issues, any queries, they come to me and I deal with them personally at whichever level they need to be dealt with. Tyler, you need spoons. I can be anywhere. They can ask any steward um, and they'll radio through and I can be there as quick as it takes me to get round to you. They can give me a call. Um, my number is on the website, so they can give me a call on match day and I do answer that. So we're just locking down now. Everybody getting ready to go home, clearing up the family stand, locking down the kiosks. And ready to start again tomorrow, on to Saturday.